What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. Um, today I'm gonna show you around my camp kitchen setup. This summer I did kind of uh, show you guys this on a camping trip. I showed you this Milwaukee pack out setup that I use, um, but I have kind of changed a few things. Plus there was never like a dedicated video on it. So I wanna walk you through my entire camp kitchen, which pretty much just consists of this Milwaukee pack out system. So before I got to this point in my camp setup, I tried so many different bins, anything from the Walmart bins to the more expensive hard case ones and just all this different stuff. And I just didn't like how nothing had organization to it and how in bins, stuff kind of just gets buried in there and you can't get to the stuff underneath and there's no dividers, that kind of thing. So this has been really slick once I kind of thought of this idea, um, was able to search it up on YouTube, found like one other guy that had done something similar. And then I was able to just get the Milwaukee stuff that worked best for my kitchen setup. So we're gonna go through this today and I'll show you how I set up my camp kitchen in one of these. So one of the coolest things about being able to use Milwaukee stuff is that most places sell it. Like you can go to a Home Depot, there's a lot of other um, places that carry it, probably where you live. So it means that you don't have to spend time ordering it online. Um, it was really nice to be able to go into a store, um, check out all the different pack out options they have, and that helped me make a decision on what stuff would work best for my gear. I only have two of the Milwaukee pack out systems here, um, but you can add and configure kind of whatever you wanted, um, depending on how much stuff you have and how much room you have to store it in whatever vehicle you're in. So the first portion I chose was their two drawer system. That's what's on the bottom here. This is the most important part for me, is I wanted something that had actual drawers that could slide out. Um, so that's been really nice not having to dig into something, having drawers that actually slide. And then the next piece that I decided to add on top was their deep organizer. So it's still a full size pack out, um, but it's slightly larger than their normal organizer as far as height goes. And then it just opens from the top with dividers. And we'll go through all this. I'll show you everything I keep in here. So I did kind of have to choose carefully which ones I decided to go with, um, mostly because of the height of my tonneau cover. You can kind of see behind me that that is like just tall enough to slide in there. Um, so that was the height that I had to work with. Um, but if you had something larger that you could fit in, you could add more to this or choose, like rather than doing a deep organizer, you could do like one of their large toolboxes um, or you could do whatever you want. They have little half size ones that you could keep some smaller things in, or you could just do two drawer systems. So right now I have the two drawer down here. You could do another one on top or they make a three drawer option and then you would have full drawers. It's kind of like full cabinets, which would be kind of cool as well. But really the coolest thing about it is just that you can choose whatever amount of pack out stuff that you want that'll fit your gear. Um, and then you can kind of configure it however you want. For anyone who's not familiar with pack out stuff, they all slide into each other. So it's super simple. There's just a button out here um, on the front of it. Um, and then that's how you kind of add and can strap on however much stuff you want. So that just clicks in there like that. And then that's one solid unit rather than stuff flying all over the place. So if you had more stuff, you could then just click more stuff in. Or if you uh, have different kind of trips, if you're going on a shorter trip or a longer trip, um, you maybe you just want something smaller and so then you grab your smaller pack out and just put that on rather than this one. So co totally nice that you can kind of just modularly move that around however you want. All right, so what really makes this better than anything else for at least for my setup is the drawer system. I love being able to have drawers that slide out. You can get to the stuff really easy um, and you don't have to dig around in a bin and there's actually dividers in these. It's, it's honestly a similar setup to what you would have in your real kitchen at your house. You're gonna go open a drawer, you're gonna open a cabinet um, and these are almost better than that because they have dividers in there that you can move around and you can kind of section stuff off so it stays really organized. So this metal bar right here, I didn't explain this when I opened those drawers, but this uh, just kind of clips in to give you some extra security so that when you are on the trail and this thing's in the back of a truck or your car or whatever, these drawers can't accidentally slide in and out. Um, so what it does, there's just a button latch that undoes that metal bar there, and then that just slides out of your way. So once you're at a camp, you can just kind of undo that, slide it in, and now these open, real, open and close really nicely. They do kind of have like a magnetic close, um, so they do still close nice, but if you're on an off-road trail, it does help to have this metal bar that just holds those in a little bit better. The other thing is that these are made super nice. So this isn't just like a plastic on plastic um, drawer that's just gonna slide out. It's not, the drawer's not gonna come out. 
It's on real metal sliders, so these things slide really good. And it's just made super well. You can just tell by the construction of these things that they're meant for job sites, they're meant for tools. That's what Milwaukee makes some of the nicest tools that you can buy. And so these are just super rigid and it uh, keeps everything protected and from moving around a lot. All right, I'll hop behind the camera and I'll show you what's in these drawers. All right, let's start here with the bottom one. Um, it comes with dividers for both of these. I chose not to use the dividers in this bottom one just because it's mostly bigger stuff that worked better without it. Um, but I've just got paper towels, a variety of different uh, Ziploc bags and stuff, um, a Bluetooth speaker. Um, again, most of this, like 90% of this stuff is camp kitchen. Just a few things aren't. So that's one of them, just a nice Bluetooth speaker for camp. Um, down in there, I have some cutting boards. And then right here is everything that we eat with. So bowls, silverware, plates, and then there's the rest of the silverware right there. All right, so now onto the top drawer up here. This one I do use, the dividers that it came with. Again, they come for both drawers. You can uh, kind of move them around however you want. And then there's little ones that go in between um, that you can add for whatever um, makes most sense for the stuff that you're putting in here. So right here I keep Clorox wipes. Those are super nice. When you make messes, you don't always want to get a rag dirty, so it's nice to have something that you can put into a garbage can afterwards. Up here I keep seasoning, so some all-purpose seasonings, salt, pepper, just the basic stuff up here for seasonings. And then over here we've got olive oil, cooking spray, hot sauce, all right, I got these measuring spoons on Amazon, I think. They're really nice. Um, they're like a silicone bottom and it kind of pops out like that to give you your measurement. Um, so it's just nice because they collapse pretty small and they don't take up much space in your bin. I rarely use those just because when I'm cooking, um, when I'm camping, I'm rarely measuring stuff. It's usually not that complicated of meals. Um, but when you do need it, it's nice to have those there. And then the last thing down in here is just a lighter. And then over here is just everything cooking utensils. So this is just basic kitchen stuff like whisks. Um, I like having a meat thermometer. That way I can um, get meat to the right temperatures. Um, just a few different spatulas, spoons and tongs, uh, some knives from GSI and then just some other random stuff. All right, up here on the deep organizer, it's got these nice latches. These are waterproof. They have kind of a weather seal in here, so you could leave these out in the rain um, and you're not gonna get moisture in all of your stuff. And then this has similar dividers as well. So these also can kind of pull out of the way if you wanted a larger space up here. Um, so a bunch of random stuff up here. We got a lantern, some garbage sacks. Right here, some, kind of some different cleaning stuff. So sponges dish soap. Uh, that's soap for our geyser shower for when we're showering. And then some bug spray. Uh, this next one, we have some mugs. So these are nice. They have lids to them. So anytime we make hot chocolate or anything like that. Over here is a Ziploc bag, some uh, usually full of um, some type of non-perishable food. So um, that's like oatmeal and hot chocolate and that kind of thing I'll put in there. Sometimes ramen noodles. Um, and then these are nice when you're grabbing hot stuff, just some hot pads. Back here, I just have two stainless steel cups. This is some hot chocolate um, and some fire starter if we needed it. This is a thermocell for mosquitoes. So you just recharge this battery and then it has a pack that you put in it that helps keep the mosquitoes away a little bit. And then just some microfiber rags for anything and everything. All right, so that's everything that I keep in the pack out. Um, I only have to keep a few things in a secondary bin. Luckily, everything small fits in this pretty well. So this is the other bin that I use. Um, it really doesn't matter what bin it is. Um, this was just the best size for me. I keep my camp stove strapped up here on top. Uh, I use a Camp Chef Everest 2X, so it has a nice little carry bag. And I'll show it to you real quick. I won't go over it too much just because I have another video that I'll link for this camp stove. So just a, a pretty well compact um, camp stove, a really nice two burner, has a super high BTUs, so it honestly boils water and cooks stuff faster than my stoves at home. But again, if you wanna see more of this, I did a video on this a little while ago. Um, it's a pretty sweet little stove. And so the only thing left for camp kitchen really is just pots and pans. Most of what goes in here is my geyser shower. So occasionally when we shower when we're out there, that's mostly the, what has to go in here. Um, but otherwise, it's this GSI cooktop. So this is kind of a griddle that just sets on that two burner stove. So it's nice when you kind of just want a big 
griddle for cooking. And so then the only other kitchen related thing in here is my GSI cookware. So this is pretty sweet stuff. I've, I spent a long time not buying a nice compact cook set. Um, and I was just using like old pots and pans that I ha had around the house and they're heavy and they don't stack at all. So it takes like four times the amount of space to pack those kind of things rather than just buying a nice one like this. So it comes with a nice little um, carry bag. I won't go too crazy into this either. I have another video that I'll link for this as well that kind of shows this, but it just gives you a good size frying pan, a large pot, a smaller pot. And then I bought this one separately. This is just an even bigger frying pan. So the only other thing that I'll mention about this uh, GSI cookware stuff is that most stuff like this, whether it's GSI or another brand, is made for backpacking for the most part. So it's usually super compact and really small. This still folds really well, but because I'm in a full-size truck, I have quite a bit of room. So this is actually their large cook set, and then this is an even larger frying pan that I bought separately. Um, and even though on their website it says that this stuff feeds like four to eight people or something is kind of the sizing that it gives you. Um, it's just nice to have bigger stuff that you, even if you're cooking for two people. So it's really nice just to have um, nearly full size pots and pans when you're cooking out there. But they do compact so well um, that they don't really take up much space. All right guys, so that concludes everything that I keep as far as a camp kitchen goes. I don't really have to pack much more than this. This is obviously not all of my gear. But as far as bins and stuff go, I don't have anything else. It's, it's just some chairs, a fire pit, some other bigger items that don't fit or don't need to go in bins. Um, so it's been really nice. I, I spent a lot of years packing like four or five different bins and carrying way too much gear. And then the more you do this, it feels so good to just eliminate more stuff at a time. So it's fun to acquire gear and it's nice to have and try out all this stuff. But the more and more you can consolidate and do less and less, it's kind of nice and it makes it easier and more fun to get out there and go camping. But yeah, I've been really happy with this. I'm, I'm a super OCD person. I like stuff super organized. Um, so this was kind of like the ultimate solution for me right now. So I really like using this thing. Um, let me know, I, I'm always on YouTube searching for new ways to organize better and all that kind of stuff. Um, Cause I like my camping experiences to, to be as smooth as possible. So if you have anything that you do regarding your camp kitchen or just your gear setup at all, Feel free to let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for how to organize a little better or stuff that you do that, that I might like as well. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this kind of stuff, um, feel free to subscribe. Um, we'll be doing tons of camping here this spring, this summer, and this fall. So um, again, if you wanna see a bunch of those kind of trips, um, we'd love to have you be a part of the channel. We'll catch you next time.